to Craving Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Now, a couple of days ago, I made an Asian tea roasted duck and it was delicious, but I'm going to take the carcass and I'm actually going to create a bone stock soup. This is so easy to prepare. A lot of people don't know that you can actually take the carcass of a chicken or a duck or beef bones and create your own homemade stock that you can use in soups, in stews, to bake rice, a lot of things and it has so much flavor. Before I go any further and show you how to do this, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. In my instant pot, I'm going to add a tiny bit of oil and then I'm going to add the carcass I saved from the duck I cooked earlier. You can use the same process for chicken, lamb, shrimp shells or even beef bones. Sauteing this will give the stock an additional flavor. Once this is done, I'm going to add two liters of water. Now you can make this in a regular pot on your stovetop if you like, but I use the instant pot for its size and the fact that pressure cooking will bring out all of the flavor faster. If you have leftover pieces of veggies, you can throw these in as well. I'm going to put the lid on and set this to sealing mode and I'm going to allow this to cook for one hour. In an hour after the pressure drops, I'm going to fish out all the bones. As you can see, there's still a lot of meat left on the bone and I will be using this as well. Once this is done, I like to strain it and then cool it in the fridge so any fat can float onto the top and then be easily removed. At this stage, you can also just freeze your stock for later. Because I'm planning to make a soup today, I'm just going to get my IP back onto saute mode and I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm going to saute a quarter cup of spring onions, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and I'm going to saute this quickly before I add two cups of mushrooms. I'm also going to add half a cup of cubed green peppers and I'm going to throw in half a cup of cauliflower florets. I've managed to get at least half a cup of meat off of the bones before I discarded them and I'm going to add that in. Now I'm going to add all of the bone stock back into the pot. Add one tablespoon of soya sauce and mix it in. I'm going to bring all of this to the boil. Taste for salt and add salt as required. I have some leftover half cooked noodles here, so I'm going to add one cup of noodles in. I'm going to taste for salt again and this needs a little bit more soya sauce so I'm going to add in one more tablespoon or to taste and this is ready to eat. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for bone stock soup. It's so easy to make and it's so nutritious. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and if you love my videos, do share them with your family and friends and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And stay home and cook with me, stay safe and also follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care, happy eating.